spots that just went a little wrong I think it's on us and it's not just the collage kit but it looks like some of them are different size it's not a big deal but I absolutely love it and then I just rearranged this I took this from the desk because I got rid of the photo that was on here and I sort of just rearranged it and it's so cute still have my chair here seriously I love it so much it did take quite a while about two hours almost um, and we did mess up, but it looks pretty perfect. Like the first two columns there and then those bottom two rows look pretty good, but yeah, it's just like that one section above the neon light there, <laughs> but that's okay. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys and I would definitely recommend this. I linked this down below in the vlog that I talked about it in, but I'm gonna link it again here. They also have a couple different ones, a couple bigger ones, but yeah, I absolutely love it, so. I can be just Okay, so here's my lunch. It was super quick. I made it in like 10 minutes and it's super healthy and yummy. So I just get these spinach and herb like tortilla wraps from Aldi. And then I had a little bit of leftover chicken and then I did some Mediterranean veggies. Super good. I would normally put tzatziki on top or I would use different vegetables and put like guacamole and make it kind of like a Mexican dish. But I think this is just gonna be good for now. So I'm eating also some baby carrots and jalapeno and artichoke dip on the side and then I have a glass of water. So this is my lunch. It'll hold me over for just a little bit, but I'll probably need another snack after my 2.30 class. So around 3.30 or 4, I'll have a snack. Um, but yeah, this is my lunch. Super yummy and delicious. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Emma for those of you who are new here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. But yeah, I just realized that I actually forgot to film an intro for yesterday's portion of the vlog. I meant to do just like a productive day in my life, just so just like a daily vlog. But I completely forgot to film an intro and outro and basically didn't really film anything other than studying and putting up my collage kit. Finally, as you guys saw, it looks so cute in the background of videos. Finally, I have a cute room. But yeah, today is Wednesday, so I thought I would just carry on the vlog until or into today because I have a lot of studying that I want to get done and I also want to organize my closet um, but yeah I worked this morning and I just got home and made some lunch and now I'm just going to study a little bit for my accounting midterm I'm also gonna make coffee but I wanted to talk to you guys first 
but my accounting midterm is tomorrow. I'm kind of dreading it. I'm not doing too hot in that class, but it's fine. I still have like a high B, which isn't too hot for me, but it's just like, I understand the quizzes and like the practice problems, but then he just completely rearranges and rewords everything on the exam. So it's just like super difficult to understand. And then, like I said, I wanna organize my closet. Don't know if I'll get around to that today. And then I need to start editing this vlog. So I'm gonna go make coffee and then get to studying. I also have a Zoom class, my PR class from 2.30 to 3.30. So I really don't wanna go, but it's literally the most low maintenance class. I just turn on my Zoom and she just talks for the whole lecture. Sometimes we have discussions, but honestly not really. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, I've got my coffee. Since it's almost two, I was gonna study for my accounting exam, but since it's almost two and my Zoom class is at 2.30, I'm just gonna chill in my bed and watch YouTube. And after that, I might want a snack. I don't really know. And then I'm gonna study for accounting. Hey guys, I have not picked up the camera since the last clip that you saw. So last Wednesday, I literally haven't picked up the camera. Life just got in the way. So yeah, like I said, I think the last clip was me studying for my accounting midterm. After I picked up the camera and the last clip that you saw and said I was about to go to class and then study for my accounting midterm, I realized how much studying I actually had to do. And I was so nervous, so I just like completely forgot that I was even vlogging and just pretty much studied the rest of the night. And then the next morning, I freaked out before my exam. And I was like, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, just because my exams have not been going well in that class at all. But I ended up getting a 98% on my accounting midterm when I had gotten a 62% on the exam previously and then like an 85 on the first exam. So I was really worried, but we did it really good. I had the second highest score in my class. So that's really nice. So here I am, it's now October 27th, Tuesday, October 27th. And I'm picking back up the camera and we're gonna finish out this vlog. Um, I have a couple things planned for today, so I thought I would just use that footage that I had last week and combine it with this, so. What's up guys, sorry for the lighting. I'm also decked out in winter clothes because my boyfriend and I are about to go grocery shopping and it's freezing outside. It snowed for the first time um, in Kansas yesterday, so on Monday. Not really snow, it just kind of lightly coated the grass and now it's kind of just like sleet ish so basically just like raining snow it's not actually sticking or pretty or anything like that so i guess that's good um but the fact that it even snowed the fact that that even happened but i'm a little all over the place this morning i'm about to eat breakfast really quick because my boyfriend and i are about to go run and get some groceries we were planning on driving to kansas city and going to trader joe's this week because that's the closest one to us and so I was just trying to finish up like all the groceries that I had and we don't really have a whole lot. But we decided that if it's gonna be snowing and the weather's gonna be bad, we don't know how bad it's gonna be in KC. So we just decided we will postpone that until like a, ne a later date, like next week or the week after. So yeah. I wanted to show you guys my breakfast before we head out and then I will give you guys a grocery haul when I get home. I also have a couple other things on my to-do list today, so. Yeah, I wanted to show you my breakfast. I've been really into oatmeal lately, so I'm gonna show you the finished product of my favorite oatmeal at the moment, so yeah. Okay, so I think it's impossible to make oatmeal look like aesthetically pleasing or appetizing, but here it is. I've been really into oatmeal, so I just take regular oats and I mix it with two thirds of a cup of 
vanilla almond milk and then I microwave it for two minutes. You can also do overnight oats or stovetop oats, but this is just quickest for me. I've seriously eaten this every day for the past like three or four days. And then I mix in a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, and then I top it with this granola, which I'll link down below. It's the bare naked granola and it has um, like cashews in it. Um, some kind of other nut and then it has like cacao nymphs in it I think and I love it because the chocolate just kind of like melts into the oatmeal and it's seriously delicious I think with like fresh bananas or strawberries it would be so amazing on top but like I said I don't have many groceries right now so yeah I'm just gonna eat this and it's so filling and yeah it's seriously delicious so don't ask me why we have a mirror in the kitchen. I honestly have no idea, but yeah, I will catch up with you guys at the grocery store or when we get back from grocery shopping and I will show you what we got. So I wanted to show you guys my pants. Shout out Taylor Kruger here on YouTube. I'll link her channel slash Instagram down below. She's a Canadian YouTuber and she posted about these pants. They're, she calls them flared leggings and that's what they're listed on as a website as well, but I know that they're yoga. So, want to tell them where we are? We're here at the local Asian market. The local Asian market. If you live in Manhattan, which I, I don't think any of you do, but you should come here and like shop local because A, these people are the nicest people ever, and B, it's just good to shop local and C, the store has stuff that no other store in town has. So, definitely, especially now, 2020 has opened my eyes to that, that shopping local is so important. Um, and just support like local businesses, shop small. So we're just getting some little goodies and yeah, we're gonna give you a grocery haul when we get home. So what is that? It's what? Oh, dang. Yeah, sorry, my boyfriend is being loud. All right, guys, we just got back from the store. It's, I don't know what time it is because, what time is it? 16. Okay, we got back from the store and we weren't planning on going all out, but we just did because like I said, we were gonna go to Trader Joe's this week, but anyways. So the first place we went to was Aldi. I got some frozen grilled chicken strips, spinach because we needed that. Um, these were like my dessert. Fine. We've had these already. It's the chocolate chunk cookie dough and they're like sea salt caramel. Really yummy. We got some ground turkey because we like to make turkey tacos. I'll link Abby Aslin's um, Fitsta down below because that's where I got the recipe. And then mozzarella ball for flatbread pizza, mushrooms for flatbread pizza and ramen. And then I got some jalapeno Havarti cheese. I tried to find like just the deli slices of this, but they didn't have any. They just had plain Havarti. So I got some of this. It's really, really good. And then I just got some French green beans. So those will be really yummy. I'm gonna try and make like an air fryer, an air fryer recipe. And then I got a cucumber for um, poke bowls. And then I saw this and they, like Aldi has been really stepping up their game lately and it's um, in everything a bagel dip. So this was on my Trader Joe's list and I thought I would just get it because I love everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I just got some mini peppers. Is your dip good? And then I got a thing of Coca-Cola for Sid and I. We don't normally buy soda for the house, but got and then I got two cartons of eggs because my little sister and I go through eggs like crazy and then oh, next bag I got two things of these garlic pita chips because I go through those like crazy as well normal box of pita ones as well and then I got so 
some flatbread for our flatbread pizzas. And then I normally get these spinach wraps and they're just normal, like spinach and herb wraps, but I got gluten-free ones instead today. Some yellow cake mix because I want to make more apple crisp. Got a thing of penne. Some flour tortillas for our turkey tacos. I've been wanting these for a while, they've been on my list, but I always forget them, and they're just french fried onions. These are good on top of like rice bowls or on top of spinach as well. Then I got two things of marinara, just a plain one and a tomato basil. This is interesting at all, like would you watch a grocery haul? Do you want it? It's not interesting to you? Do you think it'll be interesting to everyone else? Yeah, there will be people who love watching it. But you're not one no, of those people? Man. Okay. And then I got these. My mom used to get these every year growing up. And it was just like one of her things. Like we could rarely eat them. But since I'm an adult now, I can have my own. So caramel apples. And then I also just got another bag of honey crisp because I've been putting these on oatmeal. And like I said, I want to make another apple crisp. And then I got some sweet potato waffle fries because I think these will be good in the air fryer and they're a bit healthier than just the normal fries. And then Sid and I have been binging Stranger Things so our favorite snack is popcorn and I don't know if he'll like this but I got some popcorn seasoning and it's just cheesy jalapeno. So that's gonna be good. And I got some just Asian chicken. I don't care what sauce it comes with because I don't eat the sauce that it comes with. But Sid likes the orange chicken, and I just got the general sows one, sows, whatever it is. And then I got strawberries as well. Dang, I got a lot. Moving on to the Asian market. Sid, you left the fridge open. Also, that is something I, I, there's a ghost in this house because every time I don't normally do this, I don't normally leave cabinets open, and for the past two days, every time I walk into the bathroom, my cabinet is open, the one above my toilet. I'm just like, I'm not leaving it open. <laughs> It's a ghost, for sure. Okay, and then we went to the Asian market, which they always have a bunch of yummy stuff that no other store has, so definitely shop local if you can. Um, but yeah, so I got this chili garlic sauce. I know that Trader Joe's has like this crunchy chili onion stuff, and it's supposed to be good on like edamame and like green beans and stuff, so I just got the chili garlic kind. And then the Asian market has my favorite ramen noodles, um, and I just like buying from them because they're cheap and it supports local, so I just got two packages. This should make about four things of ramen. And then I got some butter cookies just because my grandma Dink used to get these growing up and they're just, I don't know, nostalgic. And it comes in like the cute little box that she would always get. So I just got some butter cookies and Sid likes butter cookies too. So I won't be eating them all on my own, right, honey? We'll see. Okay. And then last place was Target. The most exciting thing, Starbucks Blonde Roast. They're back, baby. So I don't know what was up, but I'm glad that they didn't just continue it. So we got some of that. And then I got some honey deli meat because my sister and I have not had deli meat for weeks now. And then I got five boxes of the Annie's Shells and White Cheddar because they were on sale for 99 cents. And this is just the best one. I know that they make a vegan one now, which I want to try. But yeah, I got five of those. And then I got some toilet paper, not fun. And then I got some of this Sara Lee Artisano bread. I just got the golden wheat kind because I got the deli meat. So I thought that would be good with that. And then some smart wheat, some smart sweets. If you watch any YouTuber, you know, these are so good. And then I got some vegetable spring rolls. I think these will be good in the air fryer for like a little snack. And then last thing I think, yeah, I just got some spicy chicken patties. My mom used to get the original ones growing up and I think these will just be a good source of protein and just a quick lunch or dinner option. So yeah, that's everything. I'm going to put this all away now and Sid's hungry, so we're going to make lunch. <laughs>